Ich glaube, ja. Okay. Ja, redet zuerst, okay? <lacht> <lacht> means healthy. Um, in Norwegian it means proud and conceited. It's pronounced kru, but you say cry. So basically what is the story of the name? Can you share a little bit with us? Should we? Should we? Yeah. Uh, well, it was your idea basically. Was, was it? I guess it's yeah. a collective yeah. idea. It's an yeah. old uh, story of trying to find a matching band name, uh, not finding anything that works, then trying different combination of the beginnings of our last names, which is actually how we came to, to this one. But we didn't want it to be just that. So we Googled ourselves and found that it's like this uh, meaning, I guess, in, in online gaming, they use it also as a, for some reason, incorrectly written version of I'm about to cry, like an over, over, I don't know, like a, in a sarcastic way, I guess, and we, we kind of like that. So it's slash cry, it's kind of a, it's, it's used online. And uh, yeah, actually, I just, uh, I've been in Stockholm in, in October, and I only then realized that it's also a word, because in our research, we didn't really find it. Yeah. But we, we, we stuck with cry and the, the pronunciation that way. And it kind of made sense as well, because there is a, like, we, we, we have a little text as well, like a short poem maybe yeah. that also features the line of it being like a cry for freedom in a way also this is and i, I feel like there is an element of, of yeah. energetic emotional out, out there's a form of outcry in in many of Absolutely. our pieces and in our music and so i guess it's, it's that's kind how of an explanation for the music actually it's some it's some sort of yeah cry for freedom as you said and we also found out that in afrikaans it means becoming which is also, also like amazing. a perfect description for our music. We also love crying and becoming. <laughs> <laughs> So what was the impulse to start this new formation? Should I go again? <laughs> well, it's, actually, it was you. Yeah, yeah. No way. <laughs> so, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Philip and me have been working with each other for a very long time in all kinds of projects, uh, not only playing together, but also in the studio and in, every, in all kinds of projects for a long time. And Mona and me, I guess, uh, we met quite a few years ago, but actually started playing with each other, I guess, two, three, four years, yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Maybe 18. So, sessions, yeah. So yeah. I had a few yeah. sessions as a duo and I, I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, also like the other projects she was in. And um, the, my brother was studying audio engineering. And so for, uh, for his uh, degree, he had to have a band in the studio and record them live. And obviously he asked me if I might want to bring some musicians. And I felt like, yeah, for some reason it felt like such an obvious choice and the, even this first session was like amazing. Yeah. Like I really felt really like it was uh, kind of unbelievable how easy going it was, how it was kind of, it was a lot yeah. of fun as well, but there was something to the band sound that, that has kind of stuck with us ever since. Like it hasn't, uh, yeah, it was a really good, like, a, I would call it gut feeling from you that the, <laughs> that the setting would but fit. I mean, yeah. It's, I never played with Mono before the session, <laughs> but we we met at the at the studio and yeah. we 
started to jam and couldn't stop for hours. Yeah. And there's it's another just, yeah. like a funny aspect as well yeah. is that uh, Mona just, I guess, bought this little effects it's unit. It like was very effects. new for her and it's kind of, it's also kind of a trashy yeah, it piece is of gear. Like it's mean, not <laughs> a high-end effects unit. So she plugged it in and I would play the drums. We were like in a small recording space. And so the drums were bleeding into her microphone. There was this effects cloud over everything. Yeah. And Philip, I think he was at some rehearsal and that's why he brought an acoustic bass. So yeah. it's, not, it's not an electric bass, it's not an upright bass, but an acoustic bass guitar, yeah. which has a very specific sound to it. Yeah. And we, again, felt like, why change things up? This worked perfectly. So this has been our setup ever yeah. since. Yeah. Like, Mona's effects that have kind of also that I that drums bleed into and yeah. Philip using this acoustic instrument but with yeah. lots of distortion and yeah. funny enough in this first session ma the main like I guess Absolutely. fundamentals of this band have been yeah. set from yeah. the get go. Yeah. <laughs> between composition and improvisation and the pure sound as well as the rotating loop characteristic of your music how did this all come about after this, after this first session we had I we kind of we spent some time at home just thinking about what can we compose and I, I, I brought down some idea, some ideas and I just was totally inspired by this basic sound of the acoustic bass and the clarinet so I found out that like even unisonal lines are like really amazing and really like fun to play because the sound is so so deep and yeah i mean stuck in this like amazing impression of the sound we just started to 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 reduce the the material and to to play with loops and like simple lines and then to break it up into improvisation and uh, more more crazy solos of the moment <laughs> Yeah, so I love the pieces of uh, Philip. I have really amazing energies. So I thought the sound of Christ also there. And we found the sound together, like children going to the playground and they're discovering something and they stick to it. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, maybe we can go to other direction too and uh, play soft, some soft tunes and um, finding the other quality of Christ too. So I, I brought two tunes and uh, with them it was like, wow the ideas of both of them and how they played it and made beautiful piece of it. So it was like a some simple idea. And in, so, yeah. in some way in this band, the, the sound is always there. It doesn't matter what we do. There's always like, I don't know, it, if we just play one note, it opens up, this, it open, opens up this, this amazing space and the music is already there, no matter yeah. what we do. And so even, it doesn't matter, if, Either we improvise or we play written or composed music. It's always like this amazing space of, of, of freedom. And yeah, when you mix it up, it's also make it more special. And I think the attitude is really like collective to doing it together. And I really love this, this kind of attitude to coming together and putting our egos like behind us. It is really like that. And actually playing together. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see what happens.
best case, where should the cry journey go? What else can we expect? Well, I guess we've been working hard on our yeah. debut album, which is yeah. kind of finished, kind of ready to drop. Maybe at a point where playing live is uh, more of yeah. an option yeah. because we really want to play live as much as possible. Because uh, even though we we are really um, good at rehearsing as well, which is amazing yeah. because all of us are kind of busy usually, but we we've really like stuck with the rehearsals. But uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, we. I have to like say, or I have the feeling that we're kind of a. a pandemic band I mean, <laughs> we met in, in, in uh, this, this session we talked about yeah. earlier was in october before the pandemic start so the first the first or the second recordings yeah. we did was like in march which was, which was already in pandemic true so i mean we are always like rehearsing and recording and working on the music so we're really like sitting on needles like we're ready to let's go on tour <laughs> and play <laughs> <laughs> and, and hit the stages and I mean the album that, that's come out that will come out soon is like I'm really in love with it and I hope that we will rock some really big stages. <laughs> I think that leads us to the last question perfectly. Do you have a message you want to send out to the world of art, music or the promoters? <laughs> um, I just like to add something to it. So I wish the uh, organizer and promoters uh, to Check out many cultural things and bands and this diversity spaces and bands that are outside and they want to be seen and <laughs> they try to be there as as, as exactly as same as they are. Don't try to change them <laughs> and um, stick the stickers on them. They don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it. Um, please see us as we are and. Uh, Give us our spaces because it is our spaces. <laughs> We're all there. So I wish to to be conscious about the other people and this diversity that it, it is it is also. Just open up your hearts <laughs> and your arms and we're coming to you like open as you wish. 